I, I think Sylvia is a really interesting play because it's so funny, ultimately so moving, and so human in portraying our relationship to dogs and the kind of role they fill. And um, I've always been a dog lover. And the play, uh, many scenes take place in Central Park. I've often thought as a New Yorker that Central Park is the single thing that makes Manhattan most livable. And probably in a close number two would be dogs. The idea emerged that the park was really the environment that the play takes place in. It's really the Central Park everyone hopes is there. But even when you're in the apartment, you're getting a view from the Upper West Side of the park, and in the distance, a view of um, the east side of the city. The park actually is carefully articulated trees that are inspired directly by research we did in Central Park. We went to where this dog run was that Pete Gurney wrote it about and looked at the actual place and then started to think about how to portray that in a really kind of romantic, whimsical way. There are, you know, many smaller locations. There's the apartment. That apartment can fly out. And then there's a number of um, smaller scenes. There's the counselor or psychiatrist they go to see. There is an airport scene that takes place at a gate. There are several locations in the park. There's also um, a critical scene where Sylvia has to go off in the distance and join Doggy World and join a bunch of other dogs. And I think it, in some ways, tells the story from the dog's point of view.